Have you ever felt as if life's difficulties were insurmountable, like a sheer cliff face staring you down? Life, in all its intricate beauty, can at times resemble an unyielding mountain. It stands tall, its peak shrouded in the clouds of uncertainty, its base strewn with the rubble of challenges, both big and small. The rocky terrain, the steep incline, the treacherous path, they all mirror the struggles we face, the trials that test our mettle, the situations that push us to our limits. Just like a mountain climber, we are equipped with the tools we need to conquer these challenges. Yet often we find ourselves staring at the mountain, overwhelmed by its magnitude, unsure of how to begin the climb. It is in these moments of doubt and hesitation that we need to harness our inner strength and resilience, just as a horse harnesses its power to pull a heavy load. Imagine life as an equestrian journey. The horse, a symbol of strength and endurance, is our companion in this journey. It does not shy away from obstacles, but faces them head on, leaping over hurdles with grace and determination. This is the spirit we need to embody when we face our own mountains. Equestrianism is not just a sport, it's a dance between two partners, a mutual understanding, a shared goal. The rider and the horse, though different in form, unite in spirit to conquer the terrain. The horse, with its raw power and instinct, and the rider, with their will and determination, together form a formidable team. This is the essence of life, to accept the challenges, to embrace the struggle, and to keep moving forward. It is about finding your footing on the rocky path, about trusting your instincts, about harnessing your inner strength, and about making the climb one step at a time. Remember, every mountaintop is within reach if you just keep climbing. And like the horse that never backs down, we too must persist, we too must endure, we too must conquer. Yet, in the face of adversity, every one of us has the ability to saddle up and conquer that mountain. What if I told you the key to overcoming adversity could be found in the saddle of a horse? Let's start by understanding the essence of equestrianism. It's not just about hopping onto a horse and guiding it around an arena. No, it's a dance of sorts, a partnership, a bond built on trust and understanding. It's about learning to communicate without words, to lead without force, to listen without hearing. Much like life's adversities, mastering equestrianism isn't a walk in the park. It's not something you can conquer overnight. It requires patience, perseverance and courage. You need patience to understand your horse, to learn its quirks and mannerisms. Patience to understand that progress may be slow, but it's progress nonetheless. Perseverance comes into play when things don't go as planned. When you fall off, you dust yourself off and get back on. When your horse refuses to jump, you encourage it, reassure it, and try again. When you fail, you don't give up. You keep going, keep trying, keep pushing, because that's what it takes to overcome challenges, both in the saddle and in life. And then there's courage. Courage to face your fears, to step out of your comfort zone, to push your boundaries. The courage to get back on the horse after a fall, to face a daunting obstacle, to venture into the unknown. It's this courage that propels you forward that drives you to overcome adversity, to conquer your challenges. The parallels between equestrianism and life's difficulties are striking. They both require the same key ingredients, patience, perseverance and courage. They both challenge you, push you, test you, but they also reward you. They reward you with growth, with resilience, with strength. They reward you with the satisfaction of overcoming something difficult, of achieving something great. Just as mastering equestrianism is no easy feat, neither is overcoming adversity, but the rewards are worth the struggle. Think it's impossible? Let's consider the countless stories of individuals who have tamed both the horse and life's adversities. Let's start with Jenny. She was a single mother of two, juggling multiple jobs just to keep her family afloat. She was at her wit's end, feeling the weight of the world on her shoulders. But then she discovered equestrianism. She started riding, and every gallop, every jump, every moment she spent with her horse became an escape from her burdens. She found strength and resilience she never knew she had. Jenny didn't just survive, she thrived. Then there's David, a war veteran who returned home with invisible scars. He was battling post-traumatic stress disorder, a fight no one could see but was very real to him. 
He felt lost until he found solace in the stables. Horses became his therapy, their rhythmic movement, their understanding eyes, their silent strength. David learned to live again, to trust again, to hope again. And we mustn't forget Sarah. Born with a physical disability, she has spent her life being told what she couldn't do. But Sarah never accepted limitations. She turned to horse riding, not just as a hobby, but as a declaration of her independence. Every time she mounted her horse, she was not a girl with a disability. She was a girl with ability, with determination, with fire in her soul. These are just a few examples, but there are countless more. Individuals from all walks of life facing diverse challenges, each one finding strength and triumph in equestrianism. They didn't just learn to ride horses, they learned to ride out the storms in their lives. These individuals refused to be defeated. They harnessed their inner strength, mounted their horses and charged headfirst into their battles. The power to overcome adversity isn't found in the horse, but in the rider, it's within you. Yes, you heard that right. It's not about the strength of the horse you're riding, but the unyielding spirit within you, the rider. Imagine yourself as an equestrian, the reins of your life firmly held in your hands, your gaze steady on the path ahead. You are not just a passenger on this journey, but an active participant, a driver of your destiny. Each bump, each hurdle you face is a test of your resilience, a testament to your strength. You may ask, what if I falter? What if I fall? Remember, falling is not the end. It's an opportunity, a chance to rise stronger, wiser and more determined. It's the grit and tenacity in getting back on the horse that defines your journey, not the fall itself. Everyone faces adversity and everyone stumbles, but it's the power within, the burning desire to overcome that sets the victors apart. This power isn't exclusive to a chosen few. It lies dormant within each one of us, waiting to be stirred, waiting to be unleashed. It's the ember of resilience that fuels the flames of triumph. Think of this power as your inner compass, guiding you through the darkest of storms, it's the voice that whispers you can when the world screams you can't. It's the courage to face your fears, the audacity to challenge your limits, the determination to never give up. No matter the magnitude of the obstacles you face, remember you hold the reins. You have the power to steer your life in the direction you desire. It's within you, this unyielding strength, this indomitable spirit. It's the power that turns adversity into opportunity, trials into triumphs, dreams into reality. So don't just sit there waiting for the storm to pass. Summon your inner strength, awaken the warrior within. Remember you are the rider and life is the horse. It's time to take control, to face the challenge head on. Harness your inner strength, mount your horse and charge headfirst into your battles. Now it's your turn to saddle up and conquer your own mountain. Picture yourself in the saddle, gripping the reins, feeling the power of a thousand pounds of pure, untamed strength beneath you. But it's not about the power of the horse. It's about the power within you. It's about that indomitable spirit that says, despite the odds, despite the obstacles, I will triumph. You see, equestrianism is not just about riding a horse. It's about the journey. It's about facing your fears, embracing challenges and emerging victorious. It's about discovering that you are stronger than you ever thought possible. And it's about taking that strength and applying it to the mountains you face in your own life. Every day, you're faced with challenges. Maybe they're financial troubles, relationship struggles, health issues, or personal demons. But like a rider on a horse, you have the power to steer your life in the direction you want it to go. You have the power to overcome, to conquer, to triumph. It's not about the size of the mountain in front of you, but the strength of the conqueror within you. It's about harnessing the raw, untamed power of your spirit and using it to overcome whatever obstacles stand in your way. So saddle up, grip those reins, feel the power beneath you, the power within you, and ride, ride toward your mountain, ride toward your challenges. And remember, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. It's about the fight, the struggle, the triumph. You are stronger than you think, you are more powerful than you know, and you have the ability to conquer whatever stands in your way. You are the rider. You are the conqueror. You are the triumphant. It's time to take the reins of your life. Remember, the horse doesn't control the rider, the rider controls the horse. You control your destiny.